it's pretty exciting for me, I'll be honest with you. Um, hello, hello, welcome back to the vlog. And welcome to day three of our getting back into routine for the new year. If you are brand new to my channel, I'm gonna bring you guys up to speed really quick. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optivia 5-in-1 plan. I have since transitioned over to my Optivia 4-2-in-1 plan, but really just to ramp up in the new year and feel like I have a little easier of a routine, I've been documenting my 5-in-1 plan just for the next couple of weeks, just so I can simplify my life and make things a little less chaotic, you know what I'm saying? But if you are brand new to my channel or if you're brand new to Optivia and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the Optivia 5-in-1 plan is you're gonna be consuming five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day. Fuelings are sent to you in your monthly box and your lean and green you prepare from home. Fuelings and lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee Cell Journey series. to speed. Welcome to day three. We're going to do a whole nother what I eat in a day vlog. And I just want to point out how much more energy I have today versus yesterday. Okay. Um, so really what happens when you're first starting out on your Optivia plan and anytime you're just getting into fat burn is the first couple days are a little rough. And normally it takes the full like four to five days to get into this fat burning state. But I really don't think I was eating too, too bad before this. I did gain a little bit of weight during the first chunk of the year, just because we had such chaos going on in our life. But I feel like now that I'm slowly getting back into routine, my fat burning stage has started to take place and I'm starting to feel much, much better, which usually is an influx of energy. Yesterday I was having a headache. I was feeling tired. I was feeling fatigued, but today I am feeling so, so much better also because I finally washed my hair, which totally needed to happen. And here we are sitting on day three. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a whole nother what I eat in a day vlog today. And I'm going to continue vlogging all the way up until the end of this five in one kind of stint, as well as a big trip that I have planned for the end of this month. I'm actually going to be in a wedding. So there's a Lots of things going on over here. And I'm gonna share with you guys another full what I eat in a day vlog. Also just vlogging my life, vlogging my business, vlogging my new puppy status, all of the things that are going on. I'm gonna bring the camera along today. So I have already been tracking in my Revive Tribe Tracker. If you guys do not track, you need to. I'm just saying, if you are just tracking up here, I'm telling you there's something that's not ending up in the page. So you need to make sure that you're writing it down if you're not. My Revive Tribe Trackers are on my website for free download, ashleykisner.com. And if you are just starting out on your plan, I highly, highly Highly recommend tracking your meals throughout the day just to make sure your condiments are on point, your healthy fats are on point, your water, all of those things. And there's a space on our tracker for every one of those things for you to fill in throughout the day. So make sure you check that out. I have already had fueling number one, my coffee and fueling number two. I had my golden chocolate chip pancake like I always do. Made my coffee the same way every time. I did my veranda blonde roast plus my three tablespoons of my oat cinnamon swirl nut pods for one condiment. Right after that, I actually headed out to do a quick target pickup and it is so fun funny because Target is like my therapy, you guys. Um, comment below if it's your therapy too. I love going into Target, but I feel like with a new puppy and the fact that like we always need to be with her for like every little thing, it's so much more difficult to get out and about on her own and I have very little time to do so. So Target pickup has entered the chat. I'm just saying. Um, so I kind of miss it, but I kind of don't because I feel like when I go into Target, I also get really distracted and probably walk out with things I don't necessarily need. So I placed my order last night and I actually was planning to just head out there this morning and go pick it up. No distractions, just get what I need. I'll show you guys a little bit what I got later, but I just wanted to make sure that I was starting off the day with everything that I need and being as productive as possible since I've got lots of stuff to do today. It's Sunday. I'm preparing for a big week ahead and we're doing all of the things. So I also went ahead and had fueling number two. I had my dark chocolate coconut bar and I'm telling you guys, um, I am so, so bummed that those are discontinued. Those are my absolute favorite bar of the moment with Optavia and they're being discontinued and it's so, so sad. Um, but I have heard that they're gonna be adding some more essential fuelings to the regular line. So hopefully they have some sort of a rendition of that and it's gonna be tasty and delicious. And I have also washed my hair, which has been a game changer for my day. So we're gonna hit the ground running today. I've got a few calls I'm co-hosting tonight. I've got some meetings. I need to catch up on texts. I need to prep my newsletter for the week and I need to get some laundry done. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna bring the camera along so you guys can be a part of all of that. But I am gonna get my makeup on, continue tracking and start getting some of my stuff done before we actually have to get on those calls. So I just wanted to welcome the vlog. Thank you all so, so much for watching and being here with me. We're gonna rock into 2023 and let's get started.
makeup is done. Don't we feel like a new woman? I sure do. Not only did I wanna have makeup on for these calls tonight, but I also am just trying to get better at putting makeup on like multiple days in a row. I know that sounds crazy. But when you work from home, it's like really easy to get into the habit of not. And I do feel so much more with my routine when I put my makeup on. Um, Miss Lulu is in her crate over there. So if you hear her, I'm sorry. She needs to learn how to stay in her crate every once in a while, I'm just saying. So anyway, um, really quick, I actually need to make my lean and green and I'll show you guys that in a second but I wanted to take some time in this vlog to talk about specifically coffee. I get so many questions on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram page, everywhere, and also just within my own clients with my Revive Tribe, all just wanting to know how to make their coffee on plan. And this is more simple than you think, you guys, it really is. But I just figured I'd kind of share with you what I've done on my journey with coffee specifically, and also just kind of you finding your own medium with it if you're just starting on Optavia. This is gonna be kind of your best bet for knowing the right coffee options on plan. I originally had the idea because I needed to stock up on my own coffee today. I grabbed some of my very own Starbucks Veranda Blonde Nespresso pods because I use this in my coffee every morning and I needed to restock. So I'm gonna restock this today, but let me tell you guys kind of what the rundown on coffee is. So when you're on your five in one plan, the big thing to remember is you're eating five fuelings, one lean and green, and then 64 ounces of water. In addition to that, because it's your five in one, you are allowed to have three or less condiments a day. Condiments are completely optional. Those are like in addition and then also as far as healthy fats go, you do have healthy fats allotted into your plan dependent on your protein choice that you choose for your lean and green meal. So I'm gonna kind of share with you guys what I did for the longest time and now what I currently do just because my taste buds have shifted a little bit. But really quick, just the simplest possible way that you could make coffee on this plan is mixing iced coffee or cold coffee with a shake right? So Optivia offers several different shakes on plan. I have a creamy chocolate shake right here, but they actually have coffee flavored shakes for this exact purpose. You can mix your caramel macchiato shake, your mocha blast shake in with your hot coffee or even with iced coffee. Personally, I think it's better in iced coffee, but to each their own. This is how you can get that first fueling in like right off the bat in the morning time so that you don't have to worry about it. And there's no other condiments or healthy fats needed. If you blend it in a blender, you could literally just add in like eight ounces of iced coffee. You can get iced coffee from the store or you could just use whatever coffee your family has left over for the day. Eight ounces with a couple of ice cubes and your shake, blend it up for like 30 seconds and you're done. And it tastes like a frappuccino. Like I'm telling you guys, it's basically protein coffee, but it's blended up like frappuccino consistency. That is gonna be the easiest and simplest way for you to get your coffee in in the morning. And when you're in fat burn, you don't need as much coffee because you're getting more of that natural energy. But if you do still wanna have your coffee in the morning, just like me and I fully get it, this is the way that you can do it. So the simplest possible way and probably your best results will come from keeping it as simple as possible and that's where you come in with a shake. So whatever shake you want, add in some iced coffee or just mix it in with your black coffee. I would highly recommend trying that out first and if you don't like it, there are other options that I'm gonna go over next. Also quickly, if you do choose to mix in hot coffee with your shake, highly recommend a hand mixer. It took me way too long to get in touch with the hand mixer life, but they are on Amazon for super cheap and if you're worried about getting chunks of the shake in your hot coffee, this is the best possible way because you can swirl it around, super, super simple. So highly recommend that. Then when I first got on my plan, I was the kind of girl that was like, I am not giving up my coffee in the morning and especially my creamer, right? And if you're that kind of gal, trust me, I feel you, but there is a healthier way to do it other than your regular coffee mate or your regular Starbucks creamer or whatever it's gonna be. There's a healthier way to do it. And I'll tell you, I loved the concoction that I made at the beginning of my plan. Now, if you're gonna use this recipe, you have to be super, super cognizant of how it counts so that you understand how it's gonna work in throughout the rest of your day. But basically what it was, was I would brew my favorite cup of coffee, whatever roast that is for you. Coffee does not really count as anything on plan. Make sure you double check the back, but most of the time it's just coffee is just kind of like water. Although make sure you're still getting your 64 ounces of water. You can have as much coffee as you like, as long as it's black. It just makes a difference as to what you're adding into your coffee. So for the very first chunk of my journey, I was dedicated to finding my most delicious, healthiest version of my favorite coffee. I am a caramel girl. If there's anything caramel, that's what I'm gonna choose on the menu. And I wanted to figure out a way for me to be able to make my caramel coffee. So I brewed my favorite roast and I added in three tablespoons of regular half and half. Now, the reason why this is important, and if you didn't know, half and half is on plan. It's pretty cool. Um, if you didn't know, three tablespoons of half and half counts as one healthy fat for your day. So the only way you can add this specific coffee recipe into your day is if you are choosing your protein from the top or middle category 
of the lean and green list. If you're choosing from the leanest category for meat, you get two healthy fats, meaning you could technically do six tablespoons of this if you wanted to, maybe if you're having two cups of coffee throughout the day, or from the leaner category in the middle, maybe where you're choosing your chicken breast, things like that, you add one healthy fat for the day. And that's what I did for the longest time. I had chicken almost every single day, and I did three tablespoons of half and half to count as my one healthy fat for the day. Now that means you cannot add a healthy fat in your lean and green meal. You can only add it in your coffee if that's where you choose to have it, but it's a way that you can have a healthy creamer unplanned. So I would do three tablespoons of half and half in my favorite roast, and then I would add in one tablespoon of my sugar-free caramel syrup. Now let me talk about specifically this caramel syrup. Okay, this is the Walden Farms sugar-free caramel syrup, and this is why this is important. So what you guys will recognize, I'll maybe, maybe I'll pour it out so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but this is not like the regular Tarani or Jordan skinny syrups or things like that. Don't get me wrong, those are delicious, but when I was first starting on plan, I was very particular, and I wanted my caramel sauce. I didn't want caramel syrup, I wanted caramel sauce, and I wanted something that was like kind of reminiscent of Starbucks caramel sauce, right, like the drizzle, and this is the closest thing that I found to it. So sugar-free caramel syrup from Walden Farms. Two tablespoons of this counts as one condiment on your plan. Now I will say, if you are a sweet kind of gal, you could do all two tablespoons to count as one condiment, but I'll tell you what, it's kind of a lot. It's a little too sweet for me, and when I first started out, that was already too sweet, so I did one tablespoon of my sugar-free caramel syrup to count as half a condiment for my day. I did one tablespoon of this, three tablespoons of half and half, and my regular coffee, and it mixed together to make my own healthy caramel creamer. It was absolutely delicious, and I loved it for the longest time, and I highly recommend if you guys wanna try it out. This is the healthiest possible way for you to make your own kind of creamer and have your favorite stuff at home. This is what I did for the longest time, and the only reason it changed is because as you continue on your plan, your taste buds kind of shift a little bit. This kind of sweetness ended up being too much for me because my taste buds had already shifted. So as you go, you're gonna shift into the next version of what your coffee can look like, and I'll show you guys what that means. But really quick, let me go back on this. If you do choose to do one tablespoon of your sugar-free caramel sauce, this will count as half a condiment, and technically that means if you wanna use another half a condiment somewhere else, you totally can. Like almond milk, let's say you wanna do cereal as one of your fuelings, a cup of unsweetened almond milk counts as one condiment for your day. Maybe you wanna do half a cup of almond milk for the other half condiment. You could totally do that, totally up to you, but that is what I did for the longest time. So that's my caramel concoction. I actually continued to wean down off of this. I ended up doing half a tablespoon and then like a quarter tablespoon and it just kept going lower and lower and lower to where I got to where I am today where I started using nut pods. Okay, so like I've said in my vlogs before, nut pods are kind of an acquired taste. This is not sweet, this is just flavored. So on the box, you can literally see it's oat creamer, nut pod, cinnamon swirl, unsweetened and dairy free. You guys can see that right there. And it's kind of like bubbly or LaCroix. You know how it's just flavored, it's not sweetened? It's kind of like that. It does take some acquired taste buds, but I'm just saying this is the cleanest option that I have found for a creamer on plan. And I love it. Now I will say if you want to go directly into nut pods and start using it, and maybe you still want a little bit of sweetness, you could add in one Splenda for one condiment if you want to do that. But three tablespoons of the plain unsweetened dairy-free nut pods is going to count as one condiment for your day. So nowadays I am literally just doing one of my Starbucks Veranda Blonde Roast Nespresso pods in my Nespresso. I'm doing my three tablespoons of nut pods for one condiment and it is absolutely delicious. I'm just saying this is the sequence of if you have your coffee questions and you want to figure out how to get your best coffee on plan, let me save you the trouble. This is what I did for the longest time. I am now just strictly with my nut pods and this is what works for me, but I get so many questions on this. I figured I'd just show you. Um, while we're at it, let me just also show you my coffee setup. If you're trying to do the same thing, I'll link everything down below if that's something that you want to check out as well. Let me show you guys how I do my coffee setup. Okay, so quickly, let's run through what we've got in this setup here. I am pretty particular, and I was actually a little bummed when we got to this landing, because there used to be, in my last landing, there were like lights up here that really lit up my whole station. Um, so I apologize if it's not super great lighting, but this is what we've got on the regular day-to-day. -day. So I have the Nespresso Virtuo Next, and I freaking love it. Zach got it for me last Christmas, not this most recent, but last year, total surprise, was not expecting it whatsoever. But I have fallen in love with it, and I feel like once you go Nespresso, so you never go back. So 
I have the Virtuo next. And then it came with this little Arachino frother and these are phenomenal, I'm just saying. This is how you get your perfect consistency of creamer frothed to the way that you like it, even at home. And this is really cool because it also does cold foam. If you wanna do cold foam on top of a, like an iced coffee in the summertime, really, really cool. This normally goes for, I think like, I can't remember, but it's pretty expensive just if you just buy the Arachino. So I'd highly recommend getting this with the Nespresso machine if that's something that you can bundle together. Then over here I have straws because I do like doing a lot of blended shakes and I love having a glass straw. I found that little like container that holds the straws in the bathroom section at Target. I know that's weird, but I really liked the color. And then over here, we've got the coffee. So like I said, I like my Starbucks Veranda Blonde Nespresso Pods and I found these two little canisters at Target as well, super cute. I have the Blonde Espresso Pods at the bottom if I wanna do a latte, but I don't do that as often. I normally just do coffee with a little bit of my frothed creamer on top. So I have those in that larger canister and then Zach still loves his regular roast coffee. So we have his in here. He needs to fill up. We need to grab some of that, but we have a tablespoon right on top always to measure out my nut pods or measure out his coffee. And then he's got his own coffee machine as well. And then you cannot go wrong with a glass mug. I just love being able to see my creamer inside. I just think that's so much fun. I love being able to see my coffee. It's so aesthetic. And I found these mugs as well as the mug tree at Target as well. So that was a perfect little touch for my little coffee station. And then over on the left, we just have my dash. Everybody needs a dash. If you don't have a dash, you need a dash. Just take my word for it. Dash mini waffle maker. And then I also have our digital scale for whenever we're weighing leaning greens or anything like that. But that is my coffee setup. And I'm just saying, if you want to still romanticize your coffee routine in the morning, even while you're on your health grind, this is the way you do it. This is the way that I do it. And I love waking up to it every morning. So comment below if you also love a romanticized coffee routine in the morning and what you do. I'd love some tips, but this is what I do and I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so while we're at it, let's continue this vlog. It's time for my Lean and Green. I haven't really gotten to talk about it in this series, but I'll do a quick recap. Just so you guys know, there are Lean and Greens pre-made that you can buy on the Optivia site. They're called Flavors of Home, and I love them. I'm just telling you, especially on my four and two and one plan, making two Lean and Greens a day is kind of a lot, and I always have these on hand because it is so much simpler that way if I just have something ready to go and I can just make it real quick. These are always in our pantry, and I highly recommend getting some of these, even if you're just on your five and one or whatever your journey looks like. These literally, think of them as like soup or almost like a stew. You literally can just put these in your pantry, pop one out when it's time for your leaning green and microwave it for 90 seconds and then you are done and you have a full leaning green meal plus your healthy fat for the day. So let's recap. If you do choose the flavors of home, you cannot add in your half and half in your coffee because your flavors of home does have your healthy fat for the day. But if you are not doing a flavors of home, you're more than welcome to still do the half and half for the day. These these just make my life so much simpler and they are literally like five bucks a meal. Like how can you beat that? You know what I mean? Like how much are we really spending on all of the groceries for our lean green meals versus the flavors of home? I always have one of these on hand. And weirdly enough, my favorite lean green is the ginger lemongrass chicken, this one specifically. I do also like the turkey meatball marinara. Honestly, all of them are really good, but for some reason, my favorite is the ginger lemongrass chicken. So I'm gonna heat this up 90 seconds in the microwave. We're gonna have this for my lean green meal today. I'll be sure to track it and I will show you how I make it. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Why you got scars. Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you. Cause I feel you. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb. Think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can ride our own end in this time I wanna say no, but I cannot lie I'm so curious about your life But you're a stranger trying to hide what I say Okay guys, we just finished up our trainings tonight. It went super, super well. I feel like we're getting better at those every time, which is so exciting. Um, and I am here to end out the vlog. Um, so my dog is drinking water, also eating, and we're gonna just like try to finish this ending before she finishes that, because as soon as she finishes, she's been sleeping, meaning she's about to go crazy and I have limited time, okay? So I wanna go ahead and end out this vlog. I wanna let you guys know I have fueling number five. I made my chocolate fudge pudding. And I gotta tell you, if you let it chill in the fridge for like, like half an 
an hour to an hour. It really comes out fudgy and thick, you know, I'm just saying, super good. So I'm gonna have this refueling number five and then I went ahead and finished my tracker for today. Everything is tracked and that means everything is on point, which is exactly what I like to have when I'm really leaning into routine. So other than that, we are good to go for today. Thank you all so much for joining in on this vlog. I'm so glad we got to hang out today and we are gonna hang out again tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and round out this vlog. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos going live every single week and as many days of the week that I can as we're leaning into routine for 2023. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!